less than 80 days to go before the election, the Clinton email controversies are front and center. The FBI's investigation into Secretary Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while at the State Department uncovered nearly 15,000 emails and documents that had not been disclosed previously by her attorneys. This comes as Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump calls for a special prosecutor into the appearance of pay to play at the Clinton Foundation. Let's listen. The amounts involved, the favors done, and the significant number of times it was done require an expedited investigation by a special prosecutor immediately, immediately, immediately. All right, let's bring in Gianno Caldwell, a Republican strategist, and Jessica Tarlov, a Democratic strategist. All right, first up. If these 15,000 emails, Jessica, I feel like I'm going to go to you first on this. That's so shocking. If these 15,000 <laughs> really emails, in the morning. <laughs> uh, if they were so boring, as she joked about on Kimmel, why didn't she just put them all out there to begin with? Frankly, I have no idea. I mean, we were talking about this in the green room. Uh, the entire thing, the private server from the start. Uh, trying to pin it on Colin Powell now, which I think is a huge mistake because I think it's possible that he could have actually ended up endorsing her in the end because I don't think he's going to be someone who's particularly pro-Trump. Uh, not releasing all of them, uh, the deletions. If there's nothing there, and I, I actually do believe that there is no there there here. I think that it was this kind of, you know, it's this grayness that the Clintons Come offer. On. What do you think it says? <laughs> I don't know. I can tell you where there's no grayness. In these emails that were released by D Judicial Watch regarding Huma Abedin, Thank you. the assistant right, yeah. to Hillary Clinton. By the way, why is it Judicial Watch yeah. that we're getting this through? Thank the Freedom of that. Information yeah. Act request. Because there's an exchange, one particular exchange in there that's different between Doug Band at the foundation right. and Huma Abedin about the crown prince of Bahrain, okay. who, by the way, $32 million scholarship fund done through the Clinton Global Initiative. But this is the first time that we've, there has been a discussion of an interaction between a Clinton Foundation donor and Mrs. Clinton. So there's a real connection connection that's being made and it raises the issue of why did the foundation exist and was it pay to play. All right, yeah, well, we yeah, know absolutely. why the foundation existed. Well, I mean, the, pay to play. Hold on, let's get well, to no, That's it, not I, the whole basis. I have a list. You mentioned the crown prince in the $32 million. Yeah. Executive Casey Wasserman, Slim Fast Mogul Daniel Abram, donations from 10000 25000 75000 But here's a, here's a point that matters. In a response to a court order, and this is where it gets interesting for her, in a response to a court order for Judicial Watch, Clinton declared under penalty of perjury, and I quote, that she had directed all, quote, directed all my emails on ClintonEmail.com in my custody that were or are potentially federal records be provided to the Department of State, and on information and belief, this has been done. Now, if we impeached our husband for perjury, mm -hmm. lying on their oath, and this is to a federal judge. Mm -hmm. And we know otherwise. And by the way, the no there there, the SAP emails, the 113 emails she claimed didn't exist that were deleted that contained classified markings no, no, or classified. Three contained small fees, David. Well, she, she, okay, but let's be clear about something. She is the highest classification authority in the State Department. Hold on. I want to get the news out there because it's 6 o'clock in the morning in Giano. I want to get your reaction okay. to this. A Fox News investigation has now revealed Hillary Clinton's chief of staff at the State Department, Cheryl Mills, received nearly 150 calls from the chief operating officer at the Clinton Foundation over a two-year period from 2010 to 2012. Does this, is there, what are just the sheer optics of that? I mean, if we look at Hillary, I'm from Illinois. I think this whole situation would get Rod Blagojevich questioning her ethics, sincerely. <laughs> when we, we can argue and That's debate. I mean, <laughs> seriously. Use it again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use it again when I debate you next, Jessica. I'm right but anyway, yeah. this, this situation here, if we're going to be very honest about it, it's not just a matter of us debating. There was three FBI offices in agreement to uh, actually investigate the Clinton Foundation, further it, and you see that the Obama administration prevented that. That in and of itself is a problem, and I think Donald Trump is right when he says we need a special prosecutor, because we see, even when it came to her being in charge of the State Department, over 60 companies donated money that had business before the State Department. Most politicians would say that was 
Illeg not illegal or unethical. Conflict of interest. It's a, it's it, it is a violation a conflict. of ethics under the executive branch because I worked under the executive branch code of ethics. I went back and looked through the book that I was given to read, okay. and it is a violation to do that. All right. Well.